Up the regatta on Beulah here. Uh, pretty challenging place to sail. What would you say uh, were the primary things you were thinking about? Yeah, really challenging place to sail, no question about it. One, being on the lift attack, no matter what, trying to determine that and being on the lift attack was really important right from the get-go, right from the start. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were headed off the starting line, I was quick to want to attack, sail the lift. If I had to duck boats in order to get free, in order to sail the lift, I did that. And I think that was really important. So I, I tried to do that too, but it seems like if you did that all the time, you'd miss some of the, you know, going for some of the big righties or lefties that were coming in. Yeah, well, I was just going to follow that up by saying, sailing the lift attack, but looking way up the lake to determine where the next line of breeze was going to be because there was never any consistent wind all weekend. While the sailing was great, it was very up and down velocity wise. So, sailing the lift attack, but also looking way up the lake to determine where you wanted to position your boat. So, you would take a header sometimes to get there if you thought, if you thought you had to, or? If I knew 100% that I was going to be getting into new wind and that it was going to be a lift on that tack, then I would. But there were times where you would sail a header towards new breeze and you'd get into that new breeze and then it would lift you really big. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's challenging. Mm -hmm. You also, obviously, to do that, you, uh, you have to know when you're on the lift attack. And for some people, that's not easy. Do you use a compass? I don't use a compass. I go by just feel. You know, the other thing on a small lake is you can use your shoreline as the compass, but if you go out and sail before the race and during the race, you can feel when the boat is jumped up and sailing towards your mark. If your mm -hmm. bow is pointed away from your mark, mm -hmm. you know, and you continually are falling away from it, that's a mm -hmm. good indication that you're headed. I don't think a compass is quick enough to calculate the shifts out there. <laughs> I think patience is the big thing. People don't think about the patience they have to have when they're on the water, when they get presented with a header, or when they get presented with a puff. Meaning, making your boat go fast and then kind of settling in. Mm -hmm. Keeping your boat going fast and don't make drastic changes in your course or sail shape or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Stay locked in and really focused on the number one thing, which is angle and heel. Mm -hmm. and That'll tell you a lot right there, mm -hmm. I think. So when you get a, like you get a lull, keeping the boat moving there, what's your, uh, you ease a little bit? Talk through that a little bit. If I enter a lull, first I determine that that's coming, so I'll try and shift gears ahead of time, meaning if I have any bang on, I release that. If I have cunning M on, I release that. Mm -hmm. I let the boat be powered up. Mm -hmm. And then if I feel like I need to slide in the boat, I'm really quick to move my weight in. Mm -hmm. Not standing up in the boat, but sliding my right. rear end in right. board so the boat remains on that same right. angle of heel. Right. And uh, that's crucial. And then uh, easing the sail a bit as well, right? Yeah, I'd say a little bit of ease, although there were times out there where I kept the main in and stayed pointed up into the breeze. You know. It, People are quick to put the bow down to try and get the boat up in the air again. And I was kind of doing the opposite. I was keeping the boat almost pinched up into the wind a little bit, slide my weight in hmm. to hold up for that next puff. And mm -hmm. that gave me good height and separation if there were boats to lure it on me. Hmm. Um, so you battled it out with John Porter and Ryan uh, for a couple of races here. Uh, any tactical? Uh, things you want to comment on that, uh, on any of those it's situations? Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of close sailing. Uh, I think my determination from the close sailing we had was boat handling was really the key. Mm. Uh, it was tactical in the sense that, yeah, you had to sail the ships, you had to be in the wind, and mm -hmm. all those types of things, but... Mostly the better tacks, the better... Yeah, those three boats, I thought, had the best boat handling. And, so when you get 40 boats on the line in a small lake and it's shifty and all over the place, mm -hmm. I think boat handling is going to rule mm. every time. Very good. Anything else you want to say? Love sailing on Lake Vila. Love sailing the MC. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. Yeah, you're welcome.